Hello again. It's not often I make a part 3 do a video, but uh, there was something I did want to include in the last video, which was about Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee. And I literally ran out of time, but I don't want to leave this out because it's quite interesting. On every British coin, and I may be biased, but I think British coins are actually quite uh, nice coins. As coins go, they're quite interesting. You will see this. Uh, the Queen's head is on every coin. Now, something you may not notice is that on every coin, um, the Queen's head is slightly different. This is a one pound coin from 1984. Now, look closely at that coin. See what you notice. Hold up the next one. There's a 50p from 1997. And third one, a 10 pence from 2011. Now, what do you notice about those three coins? Um, basically, they all have a queen's head on them, but you'll notice the queen is slightly different um, in each one. In the first one, she's quite young. This is a young queen, at least youngish. Middle aged queen and the elderly queen. And I believe only Queen Victoria had this sort of change within her coins. You have a young Queen Victoria and an older Queen Victoria. So uh, the reason for that is naturally you cannot have this queen now because the queen's an old woman now, so that's misleading. Um, and that's an interesting little side point. Um, and I would just point out on this uh, Royal Mint coin, it shows the young queen. And that's how the coins appeared at the time of her coronation. And this is the queen in her jubilee year. Now, another thing on British coins, unfortunately I have no notes to show you. Um, British notes often show figures like Charles Darwin, um, Sir Edward Elgar and so on. They change occasionally um, and they're significant people. But uh, on each coin there's also something else. On a 50p... You see this figure, this type of Roman figure with a lion in the background? That's Britannia, which is sort of the personification of Britain, the nation. A lion is a symbol of England. A unicorn is a symbol of Scotland. But that Britannia figure is a symbol of Britain. Um, this one, we have two lions. Um, this one, we have a Scottish thistle. Each of our four home nations, England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, has their own sort of flower. In Scotland, it's a thistle. In England, it's a rose, sometimes the oak tree. In Northern Ireland, it is... Uh... Actually, I'm not sure about that. I don't know if they use a shamrock or something else. In Wales, it's a leek. Um... Northern Ireland, I have to come back to me on that. But in a way, the, the great thing about British coins is there's so many varieties and... I, I happen to collect coins from the past and so on. This year they've had special Olympic coins, uh, which has been very interesting. So that's cool. Anyway, uh, I wanted to make this third video because uh, I felt I was running out of time in the last one. And in conclusion, I'm I'm in favour of the royal family for now. I'm in favour of the sort of power that they have, or lack of power. If we ever get into a situation like that in Thailand or Saudi Arabia or Morocco, then my name is going down first as a Republican, because that would be an awful situation. And I'm going to make another video about my views on absolute monarchy and, and Thailand. But for now, uh, that will suffice, I think. Um, so that's it, basically. Uh, some reflections on Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee. I hope I haven't forgot anything. She's our longest, second longest reigning monarch, our oldest monarch. Our longest reigning monarch was Queen Victoria, who was on the throne for 64 years. If Queen Elizabeth II is still on the throne in uh, 2015, she will beat that record. Um, neither was the longest reigning monarch in Europe. The longest reigning monarch in Europe was Louis XIV from France, um, or Louis XIII, I think Louis XIV, um, Sun King, uh, who was on the throne for 70 years or something like that, a very long time. But... Uh, 
basically it goes in roughly this order. Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth II, our current monarch, um, King George III, then I think it's um, King Henry III or King Edward III, um, Queen Elizabeth I, I think. Um, so that's it really. If you have any questions about British royal history, I'll try my best to answer. If you want anything clarified, I'll try my best to help. I believe Britain, for now, is a monarchy. Our, our system is a constitutional parliamentary monarchy. We're democracy. Um, and, yeah, that's it, really. I'll try my best to answer questions as far as I can. Um, I won't necessarily know everything. Uh, and in conclusion, I, I respect Republican opinions, provided they're respectful opinions and they're not vitriolic. Um, I believe Republicans have every right to their opinion, but I just can't see this country being a republic. Um, United Kingdom, well, by essence of its name, we, we're a monarchy. And that's it. Okay, everyone. Uh, take care.